if you are and through the, through the first conversation all the way to the end can be very clear and very transparent in what your objective is and your partner knows that, that is a fundamental component to having a successful long-term partnership. Good afternoon, my name is Brennan Lowe. Uh, I lead Shopify's business development group uh, and uh, super excited to be a part of this series, uh, partnership negotiations. It's something uh, I've been doing at Shopify uh, since the day uh, I left school and uh, which was over five years ago now, uh, when Shopify was about 30 people in a small, uh, tiny office in Ottawa. Uh, today we're now 1,200 people in four offices uh, with over a quarter million customers in 150 different countries. And the art of the deal, partnership negotiations, is, is actually pretty fascinating to me because it's really not something that's often taught. Right? You know, it's something that you kind of learn by messing up a lot. Uh, and realizing that it sucks so much you're not going to do it again the next time, and you do that again and again and again until you're like, you know, master at it, or so you think. But I want to actually, through the lens of this presentation, talk um, more so about the early days of Shopify, because what's actually kind of cool about a really high growth company like Shopify is uh, partnerships uh, meant something completely different to Shopify three or four years ago than they do today. Today we're a public company, we have uh, connections into just about every executive in Silicon Valley, we have uh, you know, investors that are able to introduce us to, to, to really key prominent people, so it's, it's kind of a different game. Um, but I, I do really fondly enjoy the times that I had when we were in our first year, I was in my first year at Shopify, no one knew who we were, nobody knew our industry even existed, and it made it that much more fun as a startup to go after people from a kind of hustle and just uh, straight effort perspective. And that's kind of some of the things I want to share because I think they're more relatable than uh, the, in, 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 in kind of today's context. The way that I've looked at partnering is again, it's a shortcut to achieving both partners' goals, right? And the goals should either be one of two things in my opinion. It should be a distribution goal, so you're trying to acquire more customers as quickly as possible or it should be a product enhancement and that you feel that with your limited resources you're actually able to partner with someone as opposed to starting a build from the ground up. Right? So looking at why partner should be answering one of those two questions but it should really be in pursuit of growth and acceleration because if you think about the opportunities of pursuing growth or growing your product through a partner, the one thing you're not doing is sacrificing the ability for you to delight your customers. Right? So when you think about partnering, are you sacrificing the ability to delight your customers? Is this actually going to make you take a sidestep in your business in your pursuit of growth? If the answer is yes, it's going to make you have to detract and take another priority, then again, maybe you shouldn't be partnering, maybe you should be considering building and or delaying until that is not on the table because again, growth is key here. If you are convinced that you are pursuing partnerships for the sake of making a big splash and that is your strategy, Consider the cost. At what cost is this going to come? It's going to come potentially in the cost of resources, those things, again, go full circle here, right? Time and money. Or is it going to cost you financially to the tune of $71 million, right? So if you take all of these lessons, I think partnerships negotiations are a task. I think what we really should be talking about is mindful negotiations. Are you mindful that you continue to hold the right to delight your customers? Are you mindful that your goal should be to accelerate your growth, accelerate your roadmap? Are you mindful that partnerships need to see value? They are long-term, they are not just handshakes. And if you do, you're set. <laughs>